So in a very big question uh, I have asked myself, why is it that we as highly sensitive, intuitive, empath, lightworker, star seeds, whatever you want to call it, we struggle so much with that feeling of isolation and separation. Even when you know we can go to let's say your next spiritual event, your retreat and everything, and you're looking for the next answer from your next spiritual teacher, guru, and you know perhaps you can experience a little bit of a glimpse of that, but you come back again to the same old stage. Or you can go and you know network and meet some people locally and have a nice chat but after one or two hours you're like you know the chatting has been nice it has been fun but I'm not still not really feeling that connection or I, I still don't experience that connection that my soul is really yearning for that is really you know it wants to remember something it just really cannot really seems to grasp it it just cannot really seems to go around it so lately the last few months I've been going through a little darkness myself um, first of all I was like getting a little bit done with going through all these spiritual events and reading all these spiritual books and going through all these spiritual courses and 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 all of that and I've made another video that I actually didn't post online because I, I, I was really speaking about lots of my personal uh, things of you know where I feel belong and this whole topic of homesickness and, and things like that it, it did sound a little bit uh, depressing so I decided not to post online and also because I was getting a little bit uh, fed up that my that the answers are not just out there you know onto your next spiritual events so that's why I was I was thinking maybe I should step back a little bit from this whole spiritual seeking uh, thing a little bit and just focus on my um, nature stuff the outdoors and everything like that create like nature relaxation videos um, and to be quite honest you know this channel started off with of course talking about spiritual insights and everything like that so those who find my channel are here for the stuff that I'm currently sharing and um, this nature relaxation uh, definitely has its place you know it's more like a mindful relaxation thing but also there are already so many channels about it doing the exact same thing and I must be honest like yes I love spending the day in nature in the woods and everything um, and that's really where you go into the stage of Spir spirituality ain't expressed um, meaning just be with yourself and forget about seeking for words and answers and analyzing your thoughts and feelings all the time just be in the moment which is more like a mindfulness thing um, anyway but this whole topic of separation isolation is it's really a really really big topic right now planetary and um, we as empaths, high sensitives, we are picking this up. It's a 3D thing. It's a thing from the 3D world. Now, there are so many spiritual teachers and gurus talking about we must go up to the fifth dimension and all that stuff. And to be quite honest with you, it's not up there. It's not out there. It's not up there we don't have to go from one place to another because as soon as you close your eyes and you go into a deep meditative state and sometimes you know you can follow a meditation from someone else but sometimes it's even better to create your own meditation because then you're not following anything but you're learning to channel it by yourself you know just let it come through yourself and through these moments you can feel these deeper connections that your soul is really yearning for it's not out here in this world or it's not just you know not only just about seeking for connections with other people it can be great it has its place but like myself even when my 
personality and characteristics can be described as social, intuitive, empathetic, you know, having communication skills and all of that. After one or two hours, I gotta be honest, I have, I have enjoyed the conversations, but I wanna move on, okay? So just giving back my space, you know? It's not that I, I, I do not enjoy being around people, but sometimes I feel like I had enough of it. And I just wanna get back into my own little cabin, my own little bubble. But like I said, you know, this 3D world is not here without a reason. It must be here. And there is a reason why it is here. Because we have given this human body, the human experience, so we can remember and truly experience the deeper aspects of our true nature, our soul, our our spirit. And everything is like, let me pause the video, let this aircraft pass over so we can continue. So like I was saying, the 3D world, it's really here so we can remember and truly experience these multi-dimensional aspects of our soul, our spirit. And it's not going up there, it's not going out there, it's not going left or right, it's everything is like simultaneously here existing within each other. And you can get access to that like this. If you learn to practice and open yourself up and forget about chasing down the next event and course and retreats and yes all these things you know they are part of this they are part of this experience of trying to remember what we want to remember these these memories in our soul of what it's like to be this multi-dimensional aspects and we have forgotten about that we have closed that down just like we have forgotten that earth has these same things as well the earth has a spirit as well and that's why I love to get out in nature because there we can get in touch with that spirit of the planet, the earth, Gaia, you know, the energetic embodiment of the earth. And that can really help us to, to get in touch with that's what we are really yearning for. And I, 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 I've been speaking so much about this whole thing about isolation and separation because that's really the forces that we are battling with you know and right now with everything that's currently going on in the world it's getting stronger it's really really getting stronger so therefore you know we we, we shouldn't to be honest with you also sometimes that triggers things in me you know like layers of anger and frustration of of what i currently experience in my own personal life and of course it's 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 triggering me i'm not i'm not totally immune for it but if I get out there, I do my practice, and nature is a big thing of my mindfulness, spiritual practice. If you do your meditation and everything like that, slowly, bit by bit by bit, it's going to affect you less. And you feel less the need to prove them wrong or fight against it, go against it. Because, you know, what you, what you resist will persist. Instead, you learn to to get in touch with your own um, creative powers, you know, your own flow of, of, of life, of spirit, your own breath, which can be the light of the cosmos, the universe. And that's where your powers lies. Not out there, not fighting against it, fighting for what you thought was once the truth of the ultimate reality. There are just so many different angles of reality. There's just not one truth of one, you know, there's just infinite, they are like infinite perceptions of reality. So don't fight for your own perception of it. And you think that's the ultimate truth. The ultimate truth is like perhaps having no perception at all of all the reality. Don't know. Don't have all the answers. Anyway, that's really wanted to give you like, you know, we, we feel these feelings of isolation and separation intensely. And of course, they also triggered in me anger, frustration of why things are not going the way 
I would like to see them because that's what I believe must come into my reality. So that's what I think that I must experience currently in my reality. And it's not always going that way because perhaps my soul has to go through different lessons to remember its true nature. And of course in here I try to analyze how things must be. And sometimes I fighting and battling these forces as well which can be quite exhausting it's sometimes very very draining and then I don't like to go come out of bed and continue to sleep a little bit longer and all these forces of course affect our personal lives as well and um, sometimes it's strange but so many of us we are being made redundant from work and jobs and businesses are struggling and failing the economy is struggling and um, there we are you know so yes the mind wants to survive right fight flight or freeze like what's going on what's going to be next I'm going to pay my bills and all of that and then you wonder why should you why should I even be worried right now about my spiritual practice right now what's going on is that I can pay my bills by the next month so I must find another job whatever it takes and then you get there you find some find finally something and you're there for a couple of weeks and then they say you know what we don't think you're good enough you know we want you to be at 100% but you're only operating at 20% and then you constantly get the same bull crap over you again over again like you're being undervalued underpaid and that is also affecting your self-image, of course. But when you step away from that and you pick the things up that gives you joy and more connection with your own creative flow, all of these ideas that you're not good enough and worthy and you're not operating fully, you're weak, you're too sensitive, you can't sell, you can't close, you can't do this. When you're not in that bathing yourself in that in the breath of this beast called capitalism that also comes with some let's say forms of manipulation sometimes not always but you find you tune into your own flow again you you change your self image again of how you see yourself how you want to see yourself what it is that you want to create for yourself what it is that you want to experience for yourself you know, your own productivity, your own flows. You can build momentum. And this momentum is gonna give you greater satisfaction, fulfillment, something that you have been missing when you are feeling isolated, separated. You must survive with a job or whatever that you do not really enjoy. You do it because for the money, after seven hours working there, you're like, ugh tired I'm drained what I've been done what I've been doing because you have not been working for him your true authentic self which again makes you feel isolated separated you feel isolated from money of course which is also energy you're isolated from your own energy so there are just so many things going on there are just so many things working together there's just never one straight answer like oh if you just do this then you will be enlightened if you just do this one thing you gotta be a millionaire in seven days right so that's really what I wanted to share with you in this video um, I think I'm I just really wanted to make this quick video and um, don't spend the entire day filming and the entire week editing um, because I just wanted to really wanted to get this uh, information out quick to speak my mind a little bit my ideas as uh, I'm also wandering around continuously into my own journeys, my own process. And uh, yeah, let's uh, keep sharing and let's coming together and let's unite because that's what we need, which is what the human spirit needs right now. Uniting, creating harmony and balance within ourselves. Okay, see you later. Take care for now. Bye bye.